Martinsville, Virginia, AP, there should be no confusion about the intensity of NASCAR's playoffs after Sunday's show at Martinsville Speedway. Chase Elliott could have won, same for Brad Keselowski, and Denny Hamlin too. It was Kyle Busch, though, who punched his ticket into NASCAR's championship race with a victory in overtime of a race that turned wild very, very quickly, and ended with the multi-car accident after Bush took the checkered flag. Bush moved Joe Gibbs racing teammate Hamlin out of his way to earn a spot in next month's championship race at Homestead Miami Speedway for the third consecutive year. He won the series title in 2015. We weren't the best all day, but we put ourselves in the right spots there at the end, Bush said. There was kind of chaos ensuing, and none of it was our fault, we just came out on the right end of the stick. Keselowski was in position to win, when Joey Logano developed a tire problem with about 10 laps remaining in regulation. Had his Team Penske teammate pitted under green to fix the tire, Keselowski likely would have coasted to the win and earned the spot in the finale. Instead, Lagan all spun and brought out a caution. Keselowski was moved out of the way by Elliott after a restart, and Hamlin then spun Elliott out of the lead with two laps remaining in regulation. Elliott wrecked, chest Hamlin down on the cool-down lap to show his displeasure, and the drivers had a heated exchange after they climbed from their cars. It was a tough result for Elliott, from potential race winner to 27th lowest of the eight remaining playoff drivers.